of this quarter final. Alfan, Al Alfian and Ardiento, top seeds in the other half of the draw. So players on their way. Proof of it. Three level. Not too many pairs have that kind of a record against Arsene and Setioan. Hassan, you choose red or black? Red. Red it is. Side, left side, yes. Liu to serve. Liu to serve. Hassan to receive. Thank you. So let's give you some details about this quartet then. And the final match of this first session. Starting with the uh, Chinese pair, uh, Liu Yu Chen, they rank five in the world, this partnership. And of course, Leo won Olympic silver in Tokyo with uh, Liu Chen Wei. Also won a world championship with him back in 2018. But with O, they won three titles last year, including the World Tour Finals and the Super 1000 Indonesian Open, so genuine pedigree as we look at uh, Oshen Yi. He won several titles with various different partners before teaming up with Leo. And one of the victories against uh, Arsene and Setiawan was in the World Tour Finals final. Had a real struggle against Lane and Vendy of England in the uh, first round. Came through in three games in uh, an hour and eight minutes. A little easier for them in round two. And their opponents. We really don't need too much said about these two. Arsene is 35 now. They're still ranked third in the world. They were first ranked number one back in 2013, if you can believe it. Three-time world champions as a pairing. They have won four World Tour titles between them, but the last one was uh, some four years ago, the World Tour Finals in 2019. And we showed you on the head-to-head -head as we look at 38-year-old Setia one. Showed you on the head-to-head -head that it's three love uh, in Leo and Owe's favour, and all three of those matches were last year. They've had a slow start to the year, these two. Best the quarter-final at the Malaysian Open. Lost Ready in the second round in him. their home tournament, so to speak, the Indonesia Masters. And they've lost their last six World Tour finals. Four of them last year. However, yet to drop a game, albeit the opposition, with all due respect to those names, is going to get tougher. Man in the chair for this one is the Dane, Jesper Larsen. And the service charge from Korea, Sun Yung Kang. Well, always good to see Arsene and Setiwan, Chris, in action. Um, they're not getting any younger, I guess none of us are. Um, but a little surprising that uh, these two Chinese have got a three-love head-to-head record against them. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't say there's many, many Ladies players out there that have a 100% ratio on against, right, you know, these are two Liu legends Chen of the game. And all As I said to you, they are, you know, as you said, back in 2013, they were um, <laughs> one of the best players in the world. They have been around forever. They are, you know, gods of the game. But now I'd say they're a little bit older. Um, and probably the biggest obstacle they have is keeping themselves fit because of the age they're at. It's not easy with your body. Your body starts to give up before... I mean, their brains and their skills are still incredible. And it's going to be a very exciting match.
service over. Yeah, you were with us earlier for the uh, women's doubles. We were, we were seeing two-minute rallies, um, several rallies, well over 100 shots. I don't think we're going to be uh, in the same here with these uh, players. Oh, ah. Definitely service not over. the way that the One. Indonesians play. Oh. The Indonesians play with creativity and skill, and they want short, sharp rallies. Just like that. I mean, look at that. The Seven finesse seven, of that two, comes one. in, plays an incredible return. So Setiawan is one of the best players ever. Three, one. Sounds favourites when he does the flick up the line and just looks off. He catches everybody with it. It's such a deceptive serve. I still have nightmares from when he did it to me. <laughs> well, they've made a really promising start here. That's where they're so good. It's a very creative shot, but then he makes such a good move, such a positive move forward. Look at this. After this, as soon as it's gone to the back player, straight in, and then an easy kill. This is excellent pressure from the Indonesians. Six, really one. taking it to the Chinese early. I think it's 6-1 with not had a rally because the way the Indonesians play, it's so hard to have a rally with them. They're phenomenal. Oh, the areas so of the game so they want to play, they're Two, so good at. Six. And it's so hard to make them play a different style, to make them play big court. You can just see the Chinese, they haven't settled at all. There's no kind of rhythm of the game. They haven't had a rally. The Chinese want rallies. They want to get into the game. And I'd say at the moment, um, especially Ooh, he's he's looking maybe a bit edgy, a bit nervous, and a lot of points have reeled off incredibly quick. Oh. Service over, three, seven. Five, seven. Three minutes into the game, and it's five, seven. We still haven't had any any kind of a rally yet. Six, seven. Well, it's a spirit to come back this from the Chinese pair <laughs> after being rather blitzed early on. They've got their bearings now and settled into this match. It's a very well placed shot there for Move. A lot of it stemming from the first uh, part of the rally. He, he's pulled off three very good flicks, and I do think that's going to be a tactic of the Chinese, trying to make the Indonesians move and make the court big so the Indonesians feel uncomfortable. Ridiculous. 
eight. You see this in the replay. He's, he's pretty much on the front line. He's getting it smashed at him. And he's crouching and he's played the perfect shot. Just incredible reactions and racket control, hand speed. Gonna get that back. <laughs> Brilliant so placement so there. Set to Think for the Chinese when they're defending, they've got to get it away from Setiawan at the net. You give him a chance and he will put it away. He's so sharp. Even at 38, he's still so dangerous at the net. there from who he knows he shouldn't make that mistake. That's a cheap mistake, especially when the Chinese were just getting themselves back into the game. Incredible, the finesse to play that shot. He's running at full speed, and then he plays a deceptive, creative cross-court net. And he's got net cord just to rub salt in. I mean, that's incredible. Sharp there from Liu at the net. Nine, twelve. This must always be quite a strange game for Liu because he's openly admitted that Setiwan is one of his his idols. So it must be very strange playing playing your idol in a in a massive match like this. Oh! I don't miss many of those. Ten, twelve. Setuan that chance. You can't poke through his round the head. He is too good at covering that shot. Even if it looks like there's a gap, there's not. Look at that. 13, 10. with a miss hit there, but he, he did everything. I mean, that's an incredible net shot. That's quite impressive from him at the net. Oh. 
Well, they were being took to the sword in the early part of this game, the Chinese pair, but they've got themselves level now. Might have been a bit of a late call from Liu there that it was going out. Oh. And then there was a little bit of indecision. Service over. That was quite incredible defence there from the Chinese. After that flick, they're in so much trouble. But then somehow they managed to find a way back into the rally. but he kept the shuttle dipping. He kept the shuttle very flat to the net. Even, even a little bit of topspin. Very good quality shot. Late decision, but a good decision. 16, so let that go by uh, Leo. Have they successfully weathered the Arsene Setiawan storm here? Seventeen. Maybe just a little bit fortunate there from the Chinese, as you could see. Lee was in a little bit of trouble there. Oh, we just need a bit of tape for maybe Hassan's fingers started to bleed or something like that. Just calling the, the doctor on. Been very good. 18, both, uh, Leo and uh, Oshengi. Oh. Oh. Good placement on the drive there from uh, 15, Massa, and then a great 18. move forward. Split that last drive, that one's not so good because it's gone up, but that's gone right in between the two players. Perfect placement. Well, terrific defense from the Indonesians. 
Sixteen. Literally, the second he served, he made the move. Look. Just missed it by a fraction. Made a career out of that kind of shot at the net. Well, it was called the in and an immediate uh, challenge. In. I mean, that was a very certain arm raised. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? It was uh, Leo who was closest to it and seems very confident. Let's see whether Hawkeye shares that level of confidence. Indeed, it does. Correction, out. So, because of that uh, challenge, four game 16. points for the Chinese pet. Okay. This judgment by Arsan Oso, first game Chen, to Leo Yu Chen and Yi, 21 16. And uh, the veteran pair are going to have to come from behind if they want to make the semis tomorrow. First blood to the Chinese pet. Coba berani lagi, ngadu lagi, main nolok lagi. Ya, depan terus, narok, narok, berani, lebih banyak berani. Hah? Ini nyoba lagi. Masih juga, coba di servisnya, di variasi juga, kadang-kadang mungkin. Ajak tinggi aja, kalau apa, nanti dia kan digeser, main dari servis aja. Nolok panjang, geser kiri, geser kanan, nolok, gak apa-apa nyobain. Daripada dia, kalau dikasih di kanan sih, pembukanya dia bagus, geser aja, geser dikit aja. Ya, ya. Kalau masalah kali itu, apa, bukanya, kayak gitu, ngodoknya dikit. Untuk tadi asal awal ini, ngodoknya dikit aja. Dikit, dikit aja. Cap aja, cap. Ya, kan, cap aja, tapi kontrol belakang. Kalau kontrol cap itu, duluin aja, duluin cepat. Jangan gak enak, baru ke duluin. Lagi itu, saya enak, duluin dulu. Satu cepat maju, ada sih, lupa cari yang itu, maju ke depan. Ya, coba. Kalau serangannya sabar dulu, kalau bisa. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Second game, Lobo, play. Force, service over, one, lock.
Oh, uh, longest round of the match by a distance. One, four. 70 shots. Eventually, the Chinese made it pay. That's too much power on Yu Chen's shot for the Indonesians to handle. Will be annoyed, Oshan Yi. Yeah, it's a cheap mistake. Especially as they're both Indonesians are in a lot of trouble in that situation. Seven over, two all. Well, they, I think they wanted a challenge there, and actually the umpire was looking the other way, and they kind of lost interest. <laughs> but I'm sure they wanted to all kind of check that. Out. Four, two. would love to see this go to uh, a deciding game so no prizes for guessing who they're siding with hugely popular everywhere they go the Indonesian pair Service over. well what goes around comes around I guess Thanks. three five thing at the moment for the Indonesians. Five, four. Chinese attacks pretty effective, but when the Indonesians are getting the attack, they're struggling to get through. It's, it's a big task, because at the moment, the way the style is working, unless the Chinese lower their level, it, it does look a very difficult challenge for the Indonesians. Oh. Well, there's no call, cool, which rather bemused our San, so uh, they've gone to Hawkeye. Remaining on the line. Six, oh. five. Play. Service over. Brilliant defense from uh, Liu, but then Six, great vision four. from Asan to actually make him move. If he hits his racket, he is very, very good there. And then making him move. Oh. 
I'd say the body language now is Liu's, he's looking frustrated with his partner. But the difficult thing is if I can see that, his partner can see it too. Liu, Liu, next time the shot. Next time handle the shot. Shuttle and walk. Okay, not just, okay. 86. Absolutely delightful. They had absolutely no, no idea what was seven. happening there, the Chinese. Yeah, slightly short, actually quite short lift, front line, but brilliant shot there from Setiawan. Play to perfection. The body language Ten, now from the Chinese. Seven. It looks they look so deflated. They won the first game and it was you know, a few seconds ago, it was even Stevens in the second game. Yeah, they've shown they can you know, come from behind. They've certainly shown that they can get momentum behind them and reel off plenty of points without much of a response. And they're right in this at 8-10. So, a three-point lead after that bit of good fortune for Arsene and Setuan, looking in reasonable shape to level the match. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Eleven eight. Play. Well, oh. incredible. They've got the run at the moment. 12, I think two eight. of those shots set you up. Almost didn't have a right to go for, but look at him. Look at that and that. Unbelievable. He's so off balance, but it doesn't matter. He's so good at the net. Thirteen eight. The lead's growing. Definitely looks like the Chinese are both getting frustrated at each other. Their body language to me is quite poor. They're looking more frustrated and, you know, they, they won the first game. Yeah. Oh, it's just a barrage of points from the Indonesians at the moment. Yeah, the Indonesians from sort of 7 all almost totally disintegrated. Service over. 9 14. Ah. 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 Ah.
Then it's so hard to play a net shot when you've got Seti around on the net and you've got a broken string. So, new weapon, but it's going to have to do some damage if uh, we're not to go to a decider here. Small as it is. So it's over. 10 15. Oh. So it's over. 16 10. Sharp at the net there from Liu. He's on that. Brilliant smash. Fantastic Seven placement. Seven. Short lift as well. He's inside the front front line. Seventeen twelve. Watch this here and the angle he gets. He's striking that here. Yeah. I mean that's fantastic placement, middle of the trams, but the lift's too short. I don't think the Chinese pair are totally out of this because the way they play, not at all impossible for them to get three or four points very quickly. Certainly the Indonesians won't be relaxing. No! Service over. That helps their cause. 18-13. I guess they, they're going to still keep playing, Chris, as long as they still enjoy it and as long as they're competitive at the top level. So it's all right. This is the thing, yeah, you know, well, why stop? If 14, it's obvious they enjoy 18. what they're doing because you often see them smile and, you know, they're very nice guys there. Everyone on tour respects them and likes them and I think they'll keep going until their bodies stop them, basically. And why not? I mean, look at them, they're three in the world. They're still doing 15, fantastic. 15, 18. Well, if the Chinese win the next couple of points, this will get interesting. Oh, brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. Service over. Yeah, 19, totally the wrong shot for me there. He can't hit with power because his partner can't cover him. He's got to take the pace off and get the shuttle coming up. This one here, he's off balance, but maybe he has to clear. Just almost accept that his opponents have hit a very good shot. Service over. Very good from you. 16. Still not really 19. seeing any interaction between the two Chinese players to each other. They look look like they've. I mean, to be honest, it almost looks like they've had an argument. They're, <laughs> they're not interacting. They're not working as a team. It's like two solo players out there. And it's out. Fantastic defense from the Chinese. Especially Ooh there. He got back 17, three shots that I have 19. no idea. That was one of them. 
but I have no idea how you got some of those back. Back on course. Oh, and then a net cordon literally just out. Could that prove a massive point? Thank you. There from the Chinese. Oh, play. Nineteen. And this is how strange a family game can be. If you think that other that long rally the Chinese won a few points ago that hit the net cord and just tumbled out, if that had gone in, we could easily be going into the third game now already. We might still be, but uh, Russia and the Indonesians here. That's out though, and they've got a game point to take us to a decider. 20 game point. Nobody wants 19. to lift. There's a serious case of no lift. Everyone's chasing forward, everyone's trying to get the net, flat exchanges. Well, that's what the crowd wanted to see. We're going to a decider. 21-19 in favour of Arsen and Setiawan. One game now, we'll decide it. And we'll decide which of these pairs makes the semis. Last game of this match, last game Play. of this oh. first session, which is pretty much going to become the second session shortly. Oh. So well, the question oh. is, which of these pairs is still going to be here tomorrow on semi-final day? And it's a oh. tough judgment because you could make a case for both. Oh. Oh. Two, one. Service over. 
Very aggressive there from Setu. One great drive and then ready straight away quickly. I mean, fantastic. The next shot. third game nobody wants to lift no one's moving the shuttle around the game's got very closed very small oh. yeah, it's impressive attack from the Chinese there well placed from and then Liu looking off round the head that's the kind of game they want to play, isn't it? And not that bothered about subtlety. We can use the power from the back of the court and try and negate the uh, creative craft of Arsene and Setiawan. Oh! Six, three. Oh! Play on, play, play. here but I don't think we're gonna the game's gonna be all around the first four shots of the rally that fell on the line fell on the line well in fact it was called out and uh, that has obviously provoked Leo to challenge because he was convinced that it had hit the line and he was quite close to it very dark but was it wishful thinking Thank you. We'll see. Yeah, he, he knew that hit the line. Correction in. Oh. Eight, four. Oh. Oh. Play. mistake Five, there but then you could say because Setiawan's made the move where the shot was probably going to go it's forced U to make the make the mistake but uh, he's almost collapsed as well as he's moving in so many short rallies I haven't quite had the flow happen yet in this in this final game showing how, how solid his defence is, working hard, and as soon as he gets the chance, get the net. And this is what was working so well for the Chinese at the beginning. Almost trying to play a bit more of a bigger court style, and then when they get the chance, get the attack. Oh. 
Well, what a pity. A brilliant defence initially. But it's a big lead for Leo Ano at the mid game break. 11 points to five. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Hassan to receive. Eleven five. So here we go with the final act of this men's doubles quarter final. Good game to win from here from an Indonesian point of view. Six eleven. He's just snatched there on that shot. It's almost he's moving back as he's hitting it. He's got to focus on that shot and just push it. Service over. 12, like that. 6. We don't see that very often from uh, from Setiwan. I think he, he was thinking the shot ahead, and I think he maybe even missed that one. Yep. That's wonderful Service deception over. again. Brilliant. Seven, Brilliant there. 12. Much better for me from O because all he did was punch it and be ready. He's not trying to move back. He's not worrying so much so about the next shot. He's focusing on that shot. Just keep applying the pressure. Missed it from his presence. Team. Incredibly Eight. well read that. No. He is a tall guy, so he does have a fantastic reach, but he read that really well. Yeah, 6'4, Leo Yu Chen. Oh, the 6'2. Service over, 9'14. Just feel here, the Indonesians just grab a few points. The momentum changes, and you can just see the Chinese getting edgier. And that was an incredible lift in that rally from Liu. I don't know how he did that. He was just spinning that shot, and he managed to put the lift on the back line. But the shot that changed the rally is that block because then he gets himself the lift. And this is what it's all about. He doesn't really want to play the flat game. The Indonesians are so good at the flat game. He wants to get the high lift. set play there from the Chinese, cross-court return, and then the other player, the non-hitting player, is able to chase. Almost straight away, look, straight away chasing in, taking that early. Oh, I thought 
thought that he might have left that, you know, that might have been wide, right, but I guess as you said earlier, if you're not sure, you've got to play it. And you've got too much on it. That's really well defended by the Indonesians because the Chinese there, they pressed and put loads of pressure on and they dealt with it incredibly well. Wow. Absolute perfection there, absolute perfection. And not the first time he's done it this afternoon either. And this is the thing, it looked at one stage that the Chinese were getting into their rhythm. All of a sudden, you can just feel maybe the Indonesians are coming back. Especially because there might be two nerves when the Chinese get close to the winning line. Just missed it, I think. It's just gone out. Yeah. So it's over. 17 13. Clear daylight between the sideline and shuttle. Every point huge now, especially from Indonesia's point of view. If they want to get back into this, but that. Service over. It was an absolute 14, gift. 17. Just edgy. Just so tense at the end of this final game. See it so often. That was so sharp. Right 15, on that. And this is the 17. thing, you can just feel it happening. The Indonesians are just crawling their way back. Too hard, and they're 16, within a point now. Arsene and Setiwa. Uh, the, the crowd have really perked up. Play Three on, points play in a row play changed play the whole ready, complexion of this decider. This is such a big point now. Oh. Fantastic so return. Really, really 18, good return. 16, Stepped in and just pokes it through. He knows Stay if he plays net, Setiwan's going to jump on it. Setiwan makes the move forward, and then Setiwan has to leave it because he's fully committed to the net. But it was such a good poke. Very smart play there from Liu. Chinese getting a bit reactive on the fence there. Just hitting pretty hard and back to the middle. They've got to try and move the shuttle around even when on the fence. Give Setiwan and Asan time. They're so good because they've got so much variation. Just feel the tension now. Every point is so crucial. It's one of those that you just pray and it goes out and in you leave it. And I mean, that wasn't so far. I mean, that was quite a long way in that. Maybe it slightly came back, maybe, but... That's what pressure can do, though. Definitely. And there's plenty of that. 18 all. Well, can't believe what uh, the Indonesians gave him there. It's like his birthday. 18. To, be, to be fair, he did incredibly well because... That serve from Aslan, that drive serve is really deceptive, but he was ready for it. And now what's going to happen on this point? Oh. For me, for the Chinese, I understand he wants the flat game, he's good at it, but it's just too frantic. Liu's got to get the block in, he's got to get the block in. So the Indonesians are below tape, lifting to his partner, because his partner's tense. He needs to get in the high lift so that he has time to just use his power. Great defense. 
Ross. And then the knockout blow, and now it's match point. It's once again, the Chinese are hitting, hitting to Seto and Asan's rackets. If you hit to their rackets, they can do anything. They're almost like magicians. You've got to stop the shuttle off, so they have to move, and then maybe they have to lift. This is a truly incredible comeback from the Indonesians, but they're so experienced at this. So, just the one match point right now. Can they take it? Yes, they can. And just listen to the crowd. <laughs> They're one of the most popular pairs on the circuit and they're going to be hanging around till at least tomorrow. And you can see the reaction of the Chinese, almost happy for them. There's so much respect for this pair. 35 and 38 years of age, respectively. But it's just a number. And 21-19 is two numbers and that's the score in the final game that takes them into the semis. And who knows how much further they can go. They just don't know when they're beaten, Chris, do they? Nice uh, experience, and this is where they're legends of the game. I have to say, though, I don't think I've ever seen Asan do a little dance before. <laughs> and I, I saw that for the first time, so, you know, it shows how much it means. They came back almost, almost what looked like they were down and out. Incredible comeback, incredible comeback. It's going to be tough for the Chinese to take. They look like they just, they feel honored to share a court with them. I think that's the thing. Everyone has so much respect for these two guys. They've been around for such a long time and they've been at you know, the very best in the world for such a long time. They're absolute legends of the game. There's that little dance. 57 minutes the match time. Delighted coaches and the vast majority inside the arena here. No disrespect to the uh, Chinese, but they were siding with those two guys. Who come through in the end, 16-21. 21-19, 21-19 in 56 minutes of play. Well, we've been going for, what, exactly six and a half hours, half past four local time here. Uh, and that means uh, there's about half an hour to go until we start all over again. Here's what you've seen if you've been with us uh, from the start. Some really tight matches. Uh, we saw the... Uh, Initially, the mixed doubles and a great win um, for the uh, Indonesians there. Then the uh, Koreans, Beck and Lee, got the better of Raheyu and Ramadanti, but only just. Liang and Wang uh, are through safely as well. Uh, Chen Yufei, that was a, a nervy performance, just about getting the better of uh, Gregoria Tunjung in two tight games. And as you've just seen, the uh, veterans Arsan and Setiawan coming through in just under an hour against uh, Leo and O of China. Now the action continues in about half an hour. Here's what we have for you tonight. This will be with Jill Clark and Steen Pedersen. Women's doubles to kick off with, uh, including the top seed Chen and Chia. Uh, Ginting, signs of him getting back to form. Uh, then we've got a mixed doubles, a men's singles, and uh, Pua Varanya Crow and Terra Chanachai to finish in the mixed. So that does it from our first session. I hope you've enjoyed our six and a half hours of coverage. Come back in half an hour. But uh, from all of us here, cast and crew, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.